Are you looking to advertise your small business? Well, look no further. The PowerCast Network gets over 4,000 hits per day, and we can meet your advertising needs. Our packages start out at just $1 per day, and you will get access to our 4,000 viewer strong market per day. Call today, 815-290-9087, or send an email to info at braddrake.net. Welcome back, everybody, to This Day in Wrestling History. Today, we're going over December 10th, 1984. We're going to start off with Jim Crockett Promotions, who ran that evening in the Memorial Auditorium in Greenville, South Carolina. On this card, Ric Flair defeated Wahoo McDaniel to defend the heavyweight championship of the world. Crockett Promotions also ran another show at the Cumberland County Civic Center in Fayetteville, North Carolina. On this show, Jeff Sword defeated Sam Hughes. Houston. The Inferno defeated Keith Larson. Denny Brown defeated Mike Davis. Black Bart went over Buzz Tyler. Ricky Steamboat defeated Ron Bass. And Dusty Rhodes and Manny Fernandez defeated Ivan and Nikita Koloff in a double chain match. Now we're going to move out west to Mid-South Wrestling, who ran that evening in the Municipal Auditorium in New Orleans, Louisiana. Buddy Landell defeated Bill Dundee. Ernie Ladd defeated Iceman King Parsons. The Rock and Roll Express defeated the Guerrero Brothers, which were Chavo and Hector in this match. Terry Taylor defeated Adrian Street. Brad Armstrong defeated The Missing Link. Butch Reed and Hacksaw Jim Duggan defeated Ted DiBiase and Hercules Hernandez by disqualification. And obviously this was a live show, so there wasn't any commentary. But if there was, you know that Bill Watts would have called Jim Duggan Jim Dugan. (laughs) Heading up north now to the World Wrestling Federation, the WWF actually ran three shows that day, two in the same arena, arena and one in a separate arena. So the first one that they ran, well, I don't know if it really was the first one, but it's the first one listed. They ran an event at a field house in Rock Island, Illinois. I'm assuming it was some high school in Rock Island, Illinois. On this card, see, like I said before, the WWF was still doing spot shows even at its peak in the 80s. Pat Patterson defeated Jerry Valiant. Bret Hart was in singles action and defeated Moondog Rex. Angelo Mosca defeated Moondog Spot. Tony Atlas defeated David Schultz. Blackjack Mulligan defeated defeated the Iron Sheik, and Blackjack Mulligan and Tito Santana were then in a tag match in which they defeated Greg Valentine and Nikolai Volkov. Now, we had two television tapings for the WWF this evening at the Brendan Byrne Arena in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The first one that we're going to read off was for Primetime Wrestling. Bob Orton and Jimmy Snuka went to a double countout. The World Women's Tag Title was on the line as Desiree Peterson and Velvet McIntyre defeated Peggy Patterson and Penny Mitchell. The Junkyard Dog defeated Paul Orndorff. Now, for additional television tapings, the World Wrestling Federation on Madison on Madison Square Garden Network was also recorded that evening. And on this card, we had Buddy Rose defeat Jose Luis Rivera. Johnny V defeated Steve Lombardi. George Wells defeated Charlie Fulton. Ken Patera defeated Jim Powers. Bobby Heenan defeated S.D. Jones. The World Women's Tag Title was once again on the line as Desiree Peterson and Velvet McIntyre defeated Peggy Patterson and Penny Mitchell. Chances are good that that may have been and they could have filmed it at the uh, at the show in Rock Island and put it on there. And it sounds like that's exactly what's going on here. We have Junkyard Dog defeating Paul Orndorff. Bob Orton defeats uh, and Jimmy Snuka went to a double countout. Yeah, we're seeing doubles from what was recorded earlier. Brutus Beefcake with Johnny V defeated Salvatore Bolomo. And WWF World Heavyweight Champion Hulk Hogan defeated Big John Studd by countout in what was deemed as a body slam challenge. Championship Wrestling from Florida did not run run that evening, everybody, nor did the American Wrestling Association. So that's it, everybody, for December 10th, 1984.